our amigos and amigettes. Um, we decided to order a Rabicon, duh, tire changer. So one of the things we're always trying to do is we're always trying to become more self-sufficient. Everyone who has a bike knows how much of a pain, of it ass, a pain in the ass it is to get a tire changed or bring it to your dealer to have it changed. So we've been eyeing this one. Um, it's not, it's not uh, like a snap-on one or something that they use in the automotive industry, but it's a, more of a manual style. But everyone seems to like them that have them, so we figured we'd give one a shot, and it just came in. And I know me personally, I have to do almost every tire on all my bikes this year or this winter. So I know Tony's got a few he's got to do. Um, so we are going to set this thing up, and we're going to change that tire um, and see how it works and give you our feedback. So if anyone else has been thinking about getting a tire changer um, for their garage, this might be the solution. Um, but we're going to set it up and we'll let you know. I think this is the Google Ma Juice, right? Yeah. So for Black Friday, we ordered we ordered it on Black Friday and part of it was it gave us an accessory kit with it. So we really don't know what we have in here. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the drop center tool. So this is to help you hold the tire into the center of the rim to break the bead. We got two of those. We got Google Ma Juice, bead grease. Real fancy brush. Oh, so that's the grease brush. Yeah, it's the grease brush. So this so is the Google brush. You put on the bead before you uh, slide the new tire on. So this looks like the accessory kit, and we're done with that one. That was our Black Friday sale. I think that was fifty or sixty bucks that they threw in included for Black Friday. <coughs> what are we out the door for this thing? We were five eighty, I believe. Five eighty or five eighty nine? Yeah, it's just like money. We ever find out where this company is out of? Are they German? Uh, Estonia. Okay. I think that's what it says on their website. We can uh, we can check that. Oh boy. Instruction manual. Don't need that. We're gonna need that. Oh. Okay. It's in quite a few pieces, so we're gonna have to assemble. It's got a this. bag so you can break it down and remobilize it. This is Tony's favorite part, the, color. the green color. But this is your bead breaker, and it's a doubles as a handle. Seems pretty high quality, right it's off so the far, uh, not bad, first welds, impression. Welds up good on this piece. I mean, for aluminum, pretty good quality, yeah. I know. We're gonna have to figure out how to put this thing together. Somebody get that man in the back. Lay everything out. Oh, what do we need manual for? Oh, no way. The tire spoon comes with a sheath so we can carry it. Or to protect it from scratching. Check that out. Pull straight. Looks like we got some Center more pins. rods. So, one of the things I wanted to do, I was really excited when we ordered this, I was going to take the wheels and tires off the Grom. Get those changed over but they said that this won't fit through the wheel bearing so i'm gonna have to give that a shot and try that myself just to confirm if that's the case because if but not i'll end up making another one that does say, fit the grom if that end fits in the machine right we'll we see. know people with machining capabilities we can make our own uh bearing you know right whatever right. axle oh here's the magic operator doohickey ratchet mobiler that's what makes the magic. So this is the difference between a fully manual and this setup. This is the duck head, but it's ratcheting. A what head? The duck head. See, it looks like a duck. So this is how you take tires well, that off. That does look like a duck, now that you say that, you yeah. See? So you take, you use this side to take the tires off, this side to put the tires on. Ooh, ratcheting. Bobby did all the homework on this, so it doesn't work. So it's a ratcheting fault. duck. Oh, those are straps. That's the, That's the pin. pin that keeps the wheel from spinning. The pin to lock the cast or mag wheels. This will not work on spoke wheels. This is the spoke wheel kit. So that's all the straps that Tony will need when he changes his tire on the Pan Am. Because on spokes, you can't, you'll bend them. Oh, these must be adapters for the axles? So, yep, so this is the axle adapter to center it. And these right here are your your, you put these on the rail, and this is what your tire sits on or your rim sits against. 
locking screw just, and just hardware to put it together. Yep. All right, so we're gonna assemble this real quick because we have to read the instructions. Um, and then we'll be right back and it'll be like 30 seconds like this. All right, so it's been some time. Um, we, in the beginning of this, you saw how we unboxed it. That was actually months ago. Um, but we are finally ready to show how this is done on camera. Um, we had to trial this. That's why it looks a little dirty now compared to the uh, previous clips you saw. We've changed a few sets. We've changed tires. a few sets on the Pan Americas. Um, and now we're ready to do my street glide. We had to practice before we filmed this because there's a learning curve with it. It definitely works. It definitely makes changing a tire easier, but you have to follow all the pointers that they recommend. So last time you saw it or earlier, it was in a box. We had just opened it, but we've assembled it because we've used it. And we're going to go through all the pieces over here that it comes with. So you obviously have the stand that holds the tire. Um, we have the duck head. This is the piece that actually will go around the tire. You can see it's all dirty now because we've used it a few times, practiced. Um, we have a second duck head that we actually had to order separately. And this was for Graham with his Pan America. He has cross-laced exterior spokes. Yeah, like a BMW or a... Yeah, so it needed a wider duck head, so they, they have the option for both. So we ordered the second one so that he could change his tire. Um, they give you some of these holders. These, these are drop center holders. They help the tire stay in the center of the rim. Don't know if we'll need these yet on that tire. Uh, this is the locking pin to prevent it from spinning while it's on the stand. Uh, tire iron instruction manual and they give you a strap for spoked wheels because you can't use the pin on a spoked wheel because the rotating force will break the spokes so the strap works great on spoked yes, wheels. yes and we, we were skeptical at first it worked perfect um, but it worked fine no damage to tony's pan america wheels when we changed those so now it's close to spring we're out in the driveway should be warm enough that's a big issue with this we found the tires have to be warm it doesn't work when it's if 20 the degrees tires out. Are cold <laughs> If it, yeah, if the tires are cold, you fight this thing. So we've had the tire in the basement warming up for the last, I don't know, three months. Um, but we, it's, it's, you know, 55 today in the sun. So we're going to give it a shot and uh, get this tire off so that I can actually powder coat these wheels or serrate coat these wheels because um, they're, they're 50,000 miles on the OEM finish and it's starting to, starting to show. So that's the plan. Plus the top bike needed new tires. And we're going to, me and Tony are going to get after it. Okay. <laughs> so the first step is you got to get the air out of the tire. Um, if you don't have a valve stem removal tool, this is ours. We have this. Uh, it doesn't come with the kit. Show the people at home. Um, you can either just, you know, sit there for a week and hold it down, let the tire, you know, pressure out. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the valve stem. Okay, <laughs> so that came out quick. Now there's no air in the tire. And the first thing you got to do is break the bead. So you put your tire on, they give you this little <clears throat> pin here so that... Alignment dowel. Yeah, it'll, it aligns basically into your bearing. Hopefully your bearing, whatever bike you're doing, will fit in one of these. Um, works great on the Street Glide Enforcer. Um, but the first thing you got to do, get it on there. Put the alignment dowel in. Make sure your stoppers on the back here are touching your tire uh, so you don't damage your rim. These are on a magnetic rail, or they're magnetic to this rail so you can move them wherever you need to. We already set them up. The first step is you just take the, the arm here and break the bead. She's going. There it is. Then you just have keep spinning it. Somebody rotate. You may have to adjust. There you go. All right, so that's broken. I'll so that's all around. the way around. Flip the tire. Back in there. 
repeat on the other side. Usually the first one's the hard one. Once you break it, it comes right around. Okay, now to the duck head. Now we go to the duck head, we'll get that set up. I have to go grab some lube. They do give you Guguma juice. Guguma juice, as Graham likes to call it, but it's bead grease. And a nice little brush if you buy that kit, which we did. He's gonna line the duck head on the tire. But uh, I recently did some trailer tires last weekend. And the guy who helped me do that just used WD and it seemed to work great. And WD, you can spray everywhere. You don't have to worry about getting it on with the brush. So I'm gonna grab some WD and we'll try that. No Guguma juice? Well, since uh, the WD wasn't slippery enough, we are gonna add this to it and use both. I'm gonna get that duck head nice and coated. No faking in here, live action. Ow! And don't be shy with the tire grease. It comes right off the rim and tire. It doesn't stain it or anything, so you can, you just gotta you clean it up. Yep. We were stingy on the first one. You can feel it fight the friction, so just lather the thing. Yep. I might be putting it a little excessive here, but that's okay. Also, you gotta make sure this bottom bead is in the center, drop center of the rim. Yeah. Right, get this back in. Try giving it a whirl. Nope. Wanna make a note you go to the bottom? Yeah, you make a note, you go to the bottom after reading the directions. So just little tips like we kind of forgot. It says six o'clock to start and look at that. Just right around. Yep. So more than that, we just got to pay attention to the little tips they give you in the instructions because they do make a huge difference. We were fighting it a little bit there. Now you should just be able to pull the tire up. Here. You want to leave that on there? No. Oh, yeah. Right there, six yeah, o'clock again. Six o'clock again. And we adjusted our pin to put it inside the enforcer. Not everyone will be able to do that based on the wheel you have. go it did here's two all righty and around we go yep and she's right off look at that and just like that once you once you put it in the six o'clock position works perfect just like that, no damage to the rim. Yeah, you got some gunk on there to wipe off, but it really does do the trick, and I just saved $50 by owning this machine. Yeah. And that's per tire, so with six bikes, myself, and seven that Devin has, and three that Graham has, that's gonna add up. But that's uh, as simple as that. We've only been at this uh, about 25 minutes, and that was with stopping to check the instructions, so. And film for you guys. And film, yeah. exactly. So this is. Uh, and you don't have to go somewhere, drop them off, go exactly. pick them up. It's just you do it it's all off. yourself. So now the, the the process works the exact same to mount it. Um, you would just use the opposite side of the duck head to roll it on, instead of roll using this side to roll the tire off the bead. Um, should we throw it back on to show them? Yeah, might as well. That came off pretty easy. Yeah. All right. Just for you guys, we'll put it back on now. Um, and show you how, and it actually doesn't matter which way we put it on because it's not going down the road that way. No. This is just for demonstration purposes. But if you're at home, make sure you check your rotation. Yep. You don't want to do this twice. Nope. Nope. But for us, it doesn't matter right now because this And actually, shot. it goes on with the lube just like that. First one. So we're going to lube up this side. Yep. With no tools, it popped on. 
So lube up your new tire too. Yes, make sure it's warm. That's the biggest thing we've learned. Tire, the, the rubber's got to be nice and soft. Leave it out in the driveway, in the sun if it's the summer. Yeah. Throw some lube on the bead. Have a rag handy to wipe your hands or your tire, mm -hmm. whatever you want. But the process works basically in reverse, except to use this side of the duck head instead to roll the bead on. You're pushing it back in now. And sometimes if you have an extra person, it's yes. nice to just help keep it walked in as it's going. Just keep a little pressure here. No, you popped out. <laughs> I noticed. <clears throat> Looks like we didn't get the edge right with the duck head on that one. So we'll readjust. And this is the things we were talking about. It, it, there's, there's a learning curve to it. We've gotten a little quicker. Loosen it time. down and go under. Oh. And I'll pry it back on. Okay, so sorry for the little cut there, but we keep fighting ourselves and this is the things we're talking about where we got to learn how to do this. So we started at 12 o'clock. Graham got it to work around most of the way because we have it so lubed up. But what happens is it wants to pull off the other side now. So they give you these drop centers, which push in the tire into the drop center of the wheel. So we have one installed here. They won't hurt your rims. They're, they're plastic. Neoprene. Yeah, plastic. Um, Sometimes this helps a little bit to try to get it in there. Yeah, you can use the... That just helps hold on. it in the center. Yep. So he's going to run this last little piece around that's not in the bead. And she'll be back on. In theory. And, and just, just like that. You save yourself $100. A little just, bit of yeah, effort. You saved gets, 100 bucks. It gets easier. We did also because a lot of people say, well, how do you balance them? The old school method works just as good as the new high tech stuff. Some of the guys, even our local tire shop that we were going to, uses the old school method. So we just got a tabletop balancer. Um, we ordered that. So Graham was able to balance his wheels on his Pan America. I'll be doing the same once I get a new tire. Um, but we just wanted to show you how easy it is to put back on. We're grand total into this project today 34 minutes with filming with double checking the instructions. So they call it the, what is it? Three minute balance or three minute mounting system. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could get there if you were real quick, had a nice hot tire in the middle of the summer and you've yeah. done a hundred pairs. Um, but we're not there yet. This is new to us still. This is only the third set. Um, and it only was 34 minutes. So it's not that bad. It's but, about uh, the same amount of time if you had to run down to a store, wait for them to do it and then come back. Exactly, exactly. So um, just saved a hundred bucks by doing that. The unit itself is actually pretty reasonable in price, especially if you have someone that goes through a lot of sets of tires like we are. Um, but now we have to take this tire back off um, because this tire is shot. And like I said, it's getting powder coated or serrate coated, a cool color. So we'll show you that when it's done. Um, we may even throw in some, some reels or shorts of the new tire going on with the new coating. So you guys can see that. Um, but and how it doesn't scratch. Yeah. Missing anything? Any other pointers we, we missed? We got it back on and off, so. I think that's about it. Yeah, but this is the Rabaconda Sport Bike. I think they call it the Sport Bike Tire Changer because they do have one specific for dirt bikes. And it goes up to 21. It goes up to a 21-inch wheel. Um, but, yeah, that's that's basically it. It's, it's convenient for us. It's definitely helped out. Um, we're still learning it, and it was still only 34 minutes, so. Recommend it if you are somebody who wants to get into doing their own tires and not spend all kinds of money. Um, but with that, thanks for subscribing. We appreciate every one of you. We're almost at 2,000, or we may be over 2,000 by the time this video comes out. So we appreciate every one of you. A like on this video if you like the Rabaconda, and thanks for watching. Check your tire pressure. Oh, Rabakanda! Hiya! Ho! Oh. <coughs>